Hello everyone, in this video we will learn how to generate a triangular mesh in PDE modeler and export it in MATLAB. So let's start. In academic research, sometimes we need to solve differential equations directly by writing the code right finite element method or any other numerical methods in most of these methods we need to have a good mesh right triangular mesh quadrature mesh or any other mesh element types generation of the geometry and mesh is a time consuming process right and in this kind of research the focus is on the physics the problem right so how we can generate the mesh and uh, how we can generate the geometry there are available free packages a good solution is using the pde modeler right is available in matlab right if you have the pde toolbox package installed on your MATLAB so you can generate the geometry and generate the mesh and then focus on your physics so in this video we will learn how to export the mesh from the PDE modeler to the workspace and after that you can use this mesh and solve your problem so here i open the pd modeler and i am going to generate this geometry first a rectangle r1 from negative 10 and negative 4 width is 20 and the height is 8 okay so axis limits auto auto and let's draw a circle the center point zero zero and one and one so now we have two regions r1 and e1 so this is the formula and from here i can generate the mesh and refine it right there are other videos in channel right regarding using this menu i will share the links in the video description so first let's consider this geometry r1 minus e1 and generate the mesh so this is the geometry that i want to export the mesh so from here i can export the mesh and before exporting let's check the workspace as you can see here we don't have any defined variable in the workspace and when i export the mesh we have points data edge data and triangles data pet so okay and now here you can see this data e p and triangles so now let's plot this mesh in MATLAB, right? To visualize the mesh again. So I can use the patch function to visualize the mesh. So the patch function in MATLAB, here as you can see, we should specify vertices and faces. So for example, here, is for plotting a rectangle and here for plotting a triangle a rectangle and a triangle here so for example if i write patch faces equal to f and vertices to v and write f equal to one two and three vertices i should specify the x and y coordinates of the mesh points for example 0 and 0 
one and zero, zero and one. So if I run this code, I write uh, import mesh, the name of this M file. This is V vertices. If I run this code, you can see this triangle. So F is the connectivity list, right? Point one, two, and three. Now, if I set this attribute, the face color to white, we can visualize the mesh better. And only we have edge color, right? The base color is white. And also here I can set the access limit, get current access. So this is one triangle, right? And if I want to add a new triangle, for example, if I add a new point here, two and two, and add a new triangle here, this is the connectivity list, point one, two and three, then point two, three, and right. So you can imagine this, connectivity list we have point one two three and this is point four so this is the first triangle and this is the second triangle right counterclockwise and also counterclockwise the connectivity list of the first triangle is one two three second triangle is two four three Right, so I can add this triangle to four and three. So now, if I run this code, as you can see here, we have two triangles. So we can set the face color, right? Change the color to visualize it better. So now we have E, P, and T data exported from the PDE modeler. So here vertices is actually P, but the size of the P, right, is two by this number. Here in the patch function, we should use the column format. So I write here P transpose. And what is the F? So if I open the T triangles. As you can see here, we have four rows, right? So this is the connectivity list of the triangle, and this number shows the region index. Here, in this case, we have only one region. If I show the subdomain labels, right? Here you can see the subdomain label, only we have one region. So this is the region index. Now, you know that the connectivity list is actually T from one to three, all columns transposed. So now if I plot this, and here let's use axis of equal, as you can see here, we imported the mesh, right, from the PD modeler. And now we have this data in the workspace. So we can use this mesh and write our finite element code or any other numerical methods. So what is the case when we have two regions? I mean, if I use this equation, refine the mesh and export the mesh again. Yes. So if I run this code, as you can see here, I have this region and this region, right? And you can check the T, right? You can see the region index is either one or two. We have two regions. How we can 
plot regions with different color i can set the face color to flat and then use the face vertex c data in this case we should specify the color of each triangle right directly so i want to use two random colors so i write c i have two regions so two by three because rgb so we need three numbers and here we have two regions so now i write c is equal to c of right index programming we can use the last row of this t matrix and this column face vertex c data is c right so in this case we can plot regions so when i zoom as you can see here we are clipping the axis so we can set get current axis and clipping off so now if i run the code and zoom as you can see here right we showed these regions with two different colors so right we can use the matlab pd modeler generate the mesh export and then write our finite element solver and do our analysis to save the time right this package is good and can save the time for doing this stuff